All right, what is up, everybody? We are back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one today. Doing something a little bit different. The NFL season is coming up pretty soon, and this is in basketball and NBA channel. But I decided let's have some fun. So I'm going to be trying to predict the NFL season. Um, just right before we start and get into it, do not take this seriously. I'm not a NFL expert or anything of the sort. This is just me having fun here. I'm definitely more of an NBA fan. Obviously, you see the channel name and all that stuff. But let's just have some fun. Football season's upon us. Let's try to predict these teams, I guess. Thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. If you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all the stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really upset a lot. Uh, join the membership. If you want to learn more about the membership, there's a video on my channel expanding all of it. You can go back and watch that. I'll link to my Twitters and all that stuff down in the description below. And uh, yeah, don't waste any more of your time. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we go. I got a tier rack on tier list maker. I got a tier list of all the NFL teams here. And um, yeah, I got all the different tiers. So let me explain the tiers really, really quick. So we have Super Bowl contenders as top tier. These are the teams I think are going to be the best in the league and have a chance to win the Super Bowl. Next, we have good playoff teams. These are teams that maybe aren't top tier contenders, but are like the next tier, tier two. Teams are like really good enough. In a perfect world, they could maybe win a Super Bowl, but they'll be definite playoff and good teams. Then we have playoff caliber. These are teams that are like, they're not contenders, but they're, they're, they can make the playoffs. The teams that I think are like, can make the playoffs maybe not division winners but can make it to the playoffs maybe as a wild card or something do you have just outside teams that i think are eh, meh like they're not playoff teams like they're not guaranteed playoff teams but they're also not the worst of the worst they're just kind of like in that weird middle spot just like eh, all right and then number one pick attention the worst of the worst teams that i think probably aren't making the playoffs teams that are gonna fight for the number one overall pick so yeah let's get it started also don't mind the hair i didn't get it done uh, just don't think about it. Don't worry about it. All right. And again, before we get into it, I'm not an NFL expert at all. I know I've been watching the football. I've been watching football for the past couple of years, but I'm in no way, shape, or form an expert. And you shouldn't take any of my opinions like to heart. You know, so if I don't like your favorite team and don't think it's good, it doesn't really matter. Don't come at me for it. All right. So, so um, yeah, let's get into it. Start with the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, I think they're. I'm gonna put them in the just outside tier. Um, I don't think they're good enough to be playoff team. I could see them being number one pick contention. I mean, honestly, they have Kyler Murray, who I think is solid. Marvin Harrison Jr. I think is gonna be really good. After that, I don't really know specifically what they have that's like concrete. They have Buda Baker, I think is still there, but I don't know. They just don't really have a lot of good things about them. But I also think they're better than a lot of the other kind of bottom feeder teams. So that's why I'm going to put them in the just outside tier where they're like, they're not going to be a playoff team maybe, but I, they're probably going to be like a six win team, six and 10 or six and 11, seven and 10. They, they could be like, they I think they're going to be in the span of like five at the most. Maybe they can win nine games, like the five through nine win range. This is what the, this is what the just outside tier is. Teams that are like not the five to nine win range. You know, I think that's the range for Arizona. So I'm going to put them in the just outside tier. Atlanta Falcons, I want to put them in the playoff caliber tier. I think they can win. I think they're favorites for me if I had to pick. I think they can win their division of the NFC South. Um, with with they're in a division with Tampa, I think is the other winner. But Falcons, I think they're a playoff caliber team. Interesting to see how Kirk Cousins comes in at, off his ACL or Achilles injury that he have, especially as he's older. That's very unfortunate. Hopefully he can come in. They got weapons. I mean, Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. They have some good things over there. A new coach. I don't remember who that coach is right now off the top of my head. But they have a new coach. So hopefully those guys get the ball a lot more. And I think they should be a playoff caliber team. I think they're a team that probably either is going to win the division or they're going to be like a win behind Tampa or something like that. They probably could be like a 8 to 10 win team, I think, Atlanta. Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they're going to Super Bowl contender. They're one win away from making it into the Super Bowl last year. They had that collapse against the Kansas City Chiefs. But, I mean, they're, they're still a great team. I mean, they brought in Derrick Henry. You know, that should be an amazing pickup. Lamar Jackson just come off an MVP season. He is absolutely amazing. They got some good things around him. Um, they still have an amazing defense. Like, Baltimore should be one of the contending teams for me. The Bills. 
The Bills is a tough one because they did lose out on a lot of guys. Stephon Diggs is no longer there. Gabe Davis is no longer there. They've had some defensive guys leave. Some injuries happen. Right now, it's kind of just Josh Allen just trying to carry this team. Um, they usually are a good playoff team between contenders. But I'm gonna put them. In, I'm putting them in playoff caliber because I still think they're playing. I still think they can make a playoff team. Josh Allen is good enough. I think they still can be a eight nine win team and be a wild card. I don't know about division. They still can win the division, but I wouldn't bet on them to win the division. Um, but I think yeah, playoff caliber. I think I would put them in playoff caliber. You know, I think Josh Allen is good enough where he probably might have an MVP season statistically, at least because he's gonna have to do a lot of heavy carrying. Um, it's just unfortunate, all the things they've lost. But I'll put them in there. The Panthers, they're in between just outside of number one pick contention. You know? Um, hopefully, Bryce Young bounces back and has a decent year, too. Um, after that, they don't really have anything I'm super excited about. You know? Um, yeah, I'm, I'll put them in one more. Unless, I feel like I'm forgetting. Maybe they have someone really good. I can't think of that off the top of my head right now. Which, again, why I'm saying don't take a lot of things in this video I say seriously. But I'll put them in number one pick contention. Um, I would pick for them to be the last in their division. You know, maybe they, maybe they can jump New Orleans. <laughs> maybe they could. But, right, I'll put them in number one pick contention still. I, I still think they're one of the worst teams in the league. The Bears. The Bears. I'm going to put them, I think they're going playoff caliber as well. Uh, they brought Caleb Williams, obviously, has shown the preseason that he is really good. You know, uh, they still have DJ Moore. They brought in Keenan Allen is over there now. They have some good things. They brought their O-line, their defense. Like, they, they've done a lot of great things over there. They've put Caleb Williams in a really, really nice situation. Um, it's a tough division because you have the Lions. You have the Packers. The Vikings can still be decent. You know, so, like, you got some – it's a tough team in that division. But I think the Bears are a team. I'll put them in playoff cap. I can see them being an 8-9 win team in that range. I, I can see that. The Cincinnati Bengals. They're in between Super Bowl contender and good playoff team. I feel like the, the Bengals are kind of becoming the forgotten. The Bengals are like the Bucks to me. And I feel like the Bucks are becoming like, well, the Milwaukee Bucks, not Tampa Bay. The Milwaukee Bucks, the NBA. I feel like the Bucks are becoming like the kind of like the forgotten contender. Where they're a contender, but everyone kind of just like, all right, whatever. Like, they're kind of forgetting. That's what I feel like about Cincinnati. I feel like Cincinnati is becoming the forgotten contender. Because they had a lot of injuries. Joe Burrow got injured last year. And all that stuff. Like, I feel like everyone's kind of forgetting about the Bengals. But when Joe Burrow is out there, when Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are on the field, the Bengals can win any game. Joe Burrow is just one of those dudes. That when he, if he, anytime he's on the field, he's one of those dudes I don't want to bet against. Especially when it comes down to big moments. He's shown that he can deliver in those big moments. <sighs> Which is... Mm, do I want to put him in... I'm going to put him in good playoff team. Maybe I'll change it at the end. I'll, I'll see how the rest of this tier list forms. I'm going to be safe a little bit and put him in good playoff team because I do think they're a contender. I mean, Baltimore... I mean, that division is always going to be scary. I mean, Baltimore, Cincinnati, the next team are going to do Cleveland, and um, the Steelers, that's a hard division. So Cincinnati, I mean, they obviously have a chance to win the division. I probably would go with Baltimore, but they absolutely have a chance to win the division. And again, they have just one of those guys and some of those players where it's like in a big game, Joe Burrow is not one of those dudes I want to bet against. But right now, I'm putting him a good playoff team, but we'll see how the rest of this list forms, and we'll go from there. The Cleveland Browns. Browns are also kind of a tough one. I feel like they're in between playoff caliber and good playoff team. Uh, they have a lot of good pieces. Obviously, uh, Miles Garrett is a monster. Their defense has always been pretty solid. They have some good things on their offense. They have Amari Cooper still there. Nick Chubb, hopefully coming back at some point. He's a monster. The big question is Deshaun Watson. How good is he going to be? He didn't play in preseason. He's going to play week one. How good is Deshaun Watson going to be? He's had two disappointing years so far that have also been cut short due to injuries and other off-field things. So really, it's, it's going to be on him. If he comes out and plays like we know Deshaun Watson can play, they're a good playoff team. Maybe even Super Bowl contender. But it's the, also the Browns. <laughs> you got to think of that. I'll, I'll put the Browns in good in playoff caliber. I'll put the Browns in playoff caliber just because 
the Browns are one of those teams that you just don't bet on, unfortunately. They're like the Clippers or like the Sixers, where it's like they're always a good, but you always know something's going to happen <laughs> or something's going to go wrong at some point. And I feel like Cleveland's one of those teams that just have that curse where it's like everything can look good. You look at their team and you're like, dang, this team should be good. And then just something happens, whether it's an injury or someone just doesn't play or something happens where it's like, oh, and that's why you don't bet on the Browns. <laughs> and it's like that's what I feel like they're – that team is so i'm gonna put them in playoff caliber but they also could jump up the good playoff team they could be a good playoff team the dallas cowboys um i want to put them in good playoff team i mean they're always a good regular season team uh they got the cd thing off their chest they paid him well deserved the dak thing i don't expect dak to get paid before the season starts i expect him to be on this team and expect him to just play out this year he is a really good regular season quarterback but Again, it's like regular season, fine. Playoffs, really, it do, the regular season doesn't really matter for the Cowboys anymore. Last couple, the regular season doesn't matter. They can go 16 and 17 and 0. It doesn't really matter because in the playoffs, they just haven't delivered. They're one of those teams. And I know because my families are huge Cowboy fans. And, you know, they put, we put, our, they put their faith every year and it doesn't work out, you know? Like, that's just what they are. They're just that team where every year you put your faith in them. You see the team, you're like, this is going to be the year. This is going to be the year. And they find a way to mess up. That's who they are. That's who they have been since the 90s. So I'm not going to put them in Super Bowl contender because I'm not putting my entire faith. Whatever happens, happens. But they are still to be respected in the regular season and probably are going to be a division winner and probably still be like a double-digit win team. So they're going to be going a good playoff team for me. The Denver Broncos, um, they're in between. I don't know. Bo Nix is going to be the starter, which this saw he played good, so that's interesting. Um, I honestly can't really tell. I don't really remember who else they have on their roster. I'm going to be so honest. They traded Jerry Judy. I don't know if they still have Cortland Sutton or not. <laughs> honestly, I, I honestly can't tell you anything about the Denver Broncos. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I, don't, I can't tell you anything, which is why I want to put them in number one pick contention. But maybe they could be like a 5-6 win team. Maybe they could win a couple more games. Uh, the uh, I, think I, would, I think they're better than the Panthers, but I think they're worse than the Cardinals. <laughs> just because of Kyler Murray and Car Marvin Harrison. That's it. But then again, I don't remember who the Denver Broncos have on their roster. I'm going to be so honest. Hold on. All right, I just looked at their roster really quick. They're going to no more big attention. I looked at their receiver core, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> don't really like that. All right, Detroit Lions. Um, I'm also going to put them in a good playoff team. Uh, they are one win away from being in the Super Bowl last year. And I think they pretty much have the same team, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Jared Goff has been good. They still have Amon Ra. They still have some really good things around them, you know. Uh, so, yeah. I'm trying to fix the camera and make it. Okay. Um, I'll put him in a good playoff team. I, I expect him to be a division a contender to win the division. Probably win a, win a playoff game. Maybe make it back to the NFC Championship. Potentially, who knows. Uh, I expect him to be good. I'm putting him in a good playoff team. Good playoff team. The Packers. I'm going to put them in playoff caliber. Um, big Jordan Love believer. Big fan of Jordan Love. Especially the run he had last year. Man, he they, they could have been in the NFC Championship game if he doesn't throw that interception in the middle of the field, man. Who knows what happened after that, but if he doesn't throw that interception, man. Yeah, but I'm a big fan of Jordan Love. Uh, I do think they have some good things. And Green Bay is just one of those teams that always f finds a way to figure it out. Like, the Packers have always just found a I feel like they just find a way to make things happen and find a way to be a good team so i'll put my belief in the packers i don't think they're going to win the division even though they have a chance but again they're in a tough division with detroit chicago again the vikings aren't a team that you just kind of brush off well depends on things but vikings are going to be a competent team at least so i'll, I'll put green bay in playoff caliber houston texans i'll put them in good playoff team as well i gotta put them in there um yeah i just think CJ Shroud is amazing. He had a, a fascinating rookie year, and I expect more of the same this sophomore year. They brought in Stephon Diggs. They brought in Joe Mixon. Like th this is they're they're building up right now. You as a Texan fan, you got to be happy with the situation 
where CJ Stroud comes in and he does great. And now the franchise is buying early, saying, okay, we already got, we were in the, we were in the playoffs last year, you know, with a rookie quarterback. So we expect to be him to be better next year. So now let's just go buy. Now let's go get Stephon Diggs. Uh, you got to be happy as a fan that the organization is putting everything into CJ Stroud right now and saying, okay, we got him now on a week deal. We have to hit right now. Let's go. So I expect him to, I, I would pick them to win the division. I expect him to be a double digit win team. I don't know about Super Bowl contender yet, preseason, before a game he's even played. I'm not, I, I won't put that expectation on them right now. But I can see a world where halfway through the year they're really good. We jump them up into another tier. But right now, I'll put them in a good playoff team. The Colts. Um. Uh. The Colts. I'm gonna put them in just outside. Personally, uh, I think they're gonna be a team that like just misses. Like, I don't think they're gonna be like a six win team. But I think they're they're. I think they're gonna be like a seven or eight win team. I don't think they're gonna. I can't. I'm not gonna lock them into the playoffs. But I think they have a chance to. And I feel like they're one. They would be one of those teams that was like a game or two, like misses a game, misses by a game or two. Anthony Richardson. I'm very, very excited to see what Anthony Richardson does in his second year, especially after um, his rookie year being really cut short. But I think he has a lot, a lot of potential. You know, uh, I do think they have some solid things, and I think they're going to be a competent team. But I, I wouldn't put my money on playoffs for them personally. The Jaguars. I'll put them in playoff caliber. Um, I think. You know, they still have good things around them. Trevor Lawrence is still really good. Um, Travis Etienne has been solid. I think they picked up Gabe Davis. I think it's a solid pickup. They're, they're a solid team. I think they were a playoff team last year, or they missed the playoffs last year by a game, I think. Uh, but Jaguars, yeah, I think they're solid. I think they're probably going to be a, another team that's like, you know, nine wins, just making it into the playoffs. Uh, but I also can see them winning a division over in Houston. They have a ceiling that they can do that, but I'll put them in there. The Chiefs, I mean, this is probably the easiest one. They got to be Super Bowl contenders, going for the three peat. As long as they have Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey on the field, they can win any game. And you showed that last year where they the, they didn't have anything outside of those two. But she rise did some things, but they didn't really have much beside those two, and they won a Super Bowl. So it's like you know, as long as those, as long as fifteen and eighty seven are out there, they they can do whatever they want. Chargers, 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 Chargers. Uh, hmm. This is tough. They brought in John Harbaugh. What, John or Jim Harbaugh? They brought in Jim, Har- Jim Harbaugh, actually, I think, right? Am I right? Jim Harbaugh. They brought in Jim Harbaugh from Michigan. Um, they don't really, they lost Keaton Allen and Mike Williams. Austin Eckler, I don't think, is there either, right? I don't think Austin Eckler is over there either. Um, so it's they're relying on a lot of young guys. I uh, Justin Herbert is my favorite player, so I'm trying not to let my thing come in because I do believe Justin Herbert, you know, is gonna have a really good season. It's just is it gonna result in winning? Is the question. And I don't want to put every team in playoff caliber because there's a couple other teams I'm probably gonna put in playoff caliber. Uh, but I'm gonna put the Chargers. I'll put them in just outside because, again, I love Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert is amazing. I Percy, again, he's my favorite player. I think he is really, really good. But looking around at all the other teams and thinking about how the Chargers roster compares to some other rosters, I'm taking a lot of other rosters over them. But they do have the ceiling to potentially be a playoff team, especially if Justin Herbert has a really big season. But I'll put them in just outside. The Rams. No more Aaron Donald. Uh, but they still have Matthew Stafford, still have Cooper Cup, still have Puka Nakua, who's emerged as a star. They still have some good things. Um, they still have Sean McVay. They still have some good things around them. There's just no Aaron Donald anymore. Um, but I'll put them in. I'll put them in playoff caliber as well. They're they're a team that feel like they they'll find a way to be a nine win, ten win team and get that last wild card spot. They're that type of team. The Raiders. I'll put them in just outside. Not really a believer in the Raiders. Uh, Gardner Minshew is awesome. Stevante Adams is elite. But after that, Max Crosby is really, really good as well. But after that, I don't really believe in anything else, especially if they're in a division with the Chiefs. 
it's going to be tough. So Raiders, I'll put them just aside. The Dolphins, Dolphins are one of those teams that's really, really hard because Dolphins, they're a good regular season team. Regular season, you know they're probably going to be a division winner. Playoffs, though, how, how, I don't know. That's that's the thing. They're one of those teams. They're one of those teams where they're always going to be a good regular season team, especially if as long as they have Tua, Tyreek Hill, they're going to probably win 11, 10, 11 games in the regular season. Playoff time, though, can are they going to win a game is the question. Um, it's the big thing on everybody's mind. Um, I, I like Tua. I like Tua. I think he's good. You know, I don't, I'm not as hard on him as a lot of other people I feel like are. You know, I, I think Tua's good. But the rea- the reality is in the playoffs, they, they, they drop in the playoffs. The last two years they have. So that's why I'm considering do I put them in a good playoff team because of their record? Or do I put them in? I'll put them in a good playoff team because my definition of a good playoff team is teams that I think are locked to be playoff teams. And I think the Dolphins, personally, I would lock them into a playoff spot. Because again, they're such a good, they have such a good offense for the regular season that they're gonna put up points. They're gonna win eleven games, 10, 11 games this year. Like you know, like that's just the type of team they are. So, I'll I'll, I'll put them in maybe even more, probably like twelve wins. So that's I'll put them in good playoff team. The Vikings, I'll put the Vikings in just outside, um, cause for the simple reason. That they have the best player, they have the best receiver in football, Justin Jefferson. That's the only reason why I'm putting him just outside because there's going to be a couple games where Justin Jefferson's just just going to take over, and they're just going to win because Justin Jefferson is great. He's just going to give the, give the ball to Jefferson Jefferson. He's going to have 150 yards receiving, and they're going to win like that. There's going to be like a couple wins that just happens like that. But ultimately, uh, unfortunately, no JJ McCarthy is really really tough. Sam Donald's probably going to be the guy, which I think Sam Donald is decent. Is he a franchise guy? But no, but I think he's a decent he, he, he's a decent starter. But yeah, that's really the only thing I'm baking on. The only reason I'm not putting him in number one pick attention is because Justin Jefferson is that great. Patriots, number one pick attention, not really much. Um they are bad. Saints. Put him in just outside. Don't really believe in the Saints that much. Um Derek Carr is decent. But uh, you know, they have Alva Kamara, which I kinda forget he exists, but Alvin Kamara is good. After that, I don't know. Like they're one of those teams. Like I, I, I'm not gonna put them in one number one pick attention because they just have that type of team where they can't be bad. Like they're probably gonna win six games. Like they're not gonna be horrible enough to be like a four win team, but they're also can't not good enough to be a playoff team. They're kind of like the they're they're like the the Bulls in the last couple of years with Demar and Zach, where they're like you know they're not gonna be bad enough to be a top bomb team, but you know. They're not good enough that no one really takes them seriously as a playoff team either. So they're just kind of in this weird spot of just being like average. It's like where they're like, they're not good, but they're not bad. They're just like, eh, they're there. So yeah. The Giants also put them in number one pick attention. Um, yeah. And they probably want to be in number one pick attention because they need, they need something. They need something over there. The Jets, one of the most polarizing teams, I think, because Aaron Rodgers is coming back. He is at 40 now. They still have good things around them. There's a lot of hype around them, obviously, as well, especially after how what happened last year. Um, I don't put them in playoff caliber. Uh, I'll put them in playoff caliber. I'm not banking on them to win a division, but I do think they're a playoff team. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, I'm a big fan of Aaron Rodgers. I think he's a great player. I expect him to come out next year. And I expect them to come out with a chip on their shoulder. Hopefully they have a chip on their shoulder a little bit. Or like a little bit of just like a a fight or something about them. Because especially... Because the only thing that I was talked about last offseason was Aaron Rodgers Jets. Aaron Rodgers Jets. Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. Oh my god. Aaron Rodgers to the Jets. And then he gets hurt four plays in. And it just ruins the entire season. <laughs> you know? And so I expect and hope to come out with a little bit more intensity and some some things this, this offseason. Or this season. So I'll put them in playoff caliber. The Eagles, I'm putting them in a good playoff team. Saquon Barkley being out of there is huge. They did lose Jason Kelsey, which is going to be huge. But they still have a good enough roster where they're going to be a playoff team, maybe win the division. You know, they're, they're going to be good still. So, especially after what happened last year, the end of last year, I would hope that they come out with a little more sense of urgency, sense of urgency and some more fight. You know, the Steelers, 
you see, the Steelers are tough because I want to put them in just outside, but Mike Tomlin <laughs> doesn't lose a lot of games. The only reason why I might put him in playoff caliber because Mike Tomlin doesn't know how to coach a bad team. Mike Tomlin only coaches playoff teams, which is why I don't want to put them in just outside. That simple fact alone. Russell Wilson is a starter, but I do believe Justin Fields should is going to take that spot at some point. I do believe Justin Fields is going to eventually be the starting quarterback. I honestly thought he was going to win the job, but he didn't. George Pickens is solid. Like, they still have some decent things over there. It's just they're in a really tough division. They're probably in the hardest division in football with Baltimore, um, Cincinnati, and Cleveland. Like They're in the hardest division in football. But, again, it's Mike Tomlin. It's Mike Tomlin. And Mike Tomlin only coaches good teams. But everything has to end at some point, so I'm going to put them in just outside. Even though I don't want to, but I'm going to put them in just outside. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put them in just outside. But, you know... Well, I, I won't be surprised if they do make it. The Seahawks. Hmm. Seahawks are Seahawks are interesting. Seahawks are a team that I like Geno Smith a lot. DK Metcalf is good. I'm pretty sure Tyler Lockett is still around. They're gonna have a decent defense. New coach though. No, my, no more Pete Carroll. There's gonna be a new, new uh, stuff in there. A new era for them. Um, I still think they're a decent enough team. Ah. Uh, I'll put them in playoff caliber. I think they're a playoff caliber team. I think they're 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 gonna be a solid team. They're gonna be in that playoff race again. Will they make it? I'm not know for sure, but I definitely believe they're gonna be in that race. You know, in the playoffs. San Fran gotta put them in Super Bowl contender. The the Ayuk era, the Ayuk saga is finally over. They basically they're almost they're a play away or whatever from winning the Super Bowl last year, and they brought back the same team. So you know, gotta keep them in Super Bowl contender, and then. All right, last couple teams. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, I'll put them in playoff caliber. Um, they're, uh, they have a chance to win a division. Um, Baker Mayfield, hopefully we'll see what he can do after having a big season last year. They still have Mike Evans around. Um, their defense, they're, they're still going to be a decent team, so we'll put them in there. Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee. I'll put them in just outside. I'm not going to put them in the more pick attention, but I will put them in the just outside. where they're like, I, I don't expect them to be a playoff team. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they finish last in their division. But I think they're gonna be a competent team. Interested to see what happens with Will Levis. Tony Pollard is over there now. Like they have some decent things. But I will not be surprised if they're number one picked. I will not be surprised if maybe like a couple weeks like week thirteen, they see things are going and they're like, Alright, let's just tank. Like what we, like they probably are contender they're in contention for one of those scenarios where they start competitive and then halfway through they're kinda like, Alright, to start see the stars aligning they see like all right we're not gonna make it there and there's a really good player that we want with a high pick so let's just tank for the rest of the season uh, i think they could do that but you know i'll put them in just outside because i think they're i respect uh, some of the things they have and finally the washington commanders um hmm. I, I i also put them in just outside i'm uh, very excited to see Jaden daniels see what he does uh, they have some decent things over there, which is why I'm not gonna put them in number one pick contention. Uh, but I'll put them in. I think they, they'll probably be. I won't. I don't think they're gonna make the playoffs, but I do think they're gonna be. To be one of those sneaky, the, the sneaky feisty teams, where you're not gonna get an easy win. They're the team. They're not. You're not gonna get an easy win over. They're gonna come in and fight, but ultimately they're just not gonna win a whole lot of games. But they're gonna be competent. Like just outside, I think our teams are either. Like, just outside, I think for me, are two different type of teams. A team that is going to be good, but just because of numbers and because of, like, divisions and stuff, they miss out. Or it's teams that are, like, co competent teams. Where they're teams that are, like, not, you don't expect them to be good playoff teams, but also you res they have respect. Like, you don't, you res they come in and they're going to fight and they're going to actually have some things. And they could take a game off you if you're, if you, if you're getting caught lacking. You know, which is why teams like Tennessee, the Vikings, like I put them in there because, and Cardinals, because they have type of teams where it's like, I don't expect them to be playoff teams, but they have some good things where if you get caught lacking or not, you don't come with it, they have the talent to steal a game from you. So yeah, there's my list of Super Bowl contenders. I only have three, which is very interesting. 
do I want to move anybody? Um, I kind of want to move Cincinnati up to Super Bowl contender, but I want to, but but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it there. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I think I, yeah, I th- I think I I like this list. So, contenders, Super Bowl contenders, Super Bowl contenders. We have Baltimore, Kansas City, San Fran, good playoff teams. Cincinnati, Dallas, Detroit, Houston, Miami, Eagles. Playoff caliber, we have Atlanta, Buffalo, Chicago, Cleveland, Green Bay, Jacksonville, the Rams, Jets, Seattle, Tampa. Just outside, we have Arizona, Colts, Chargers, Raiders, Vikings, Saints, Steelers, Titans, Washington. And the number one pick attention, we have Carolina, Denver, New England, and the Giants. But yeah, it's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn on notifications, do all stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.